Hi, Joey and Kelsey. So nice to see you. Hi, Hi. nice to see you. Okay, so it's been a few months now since the engagement that we saw on screen. And Joey, I know we've gotten a chance to chat, but Kelsey, I haven't gotten a chance to chat with you yet, so I'm so excited. Can you tell me something that you two have maybe learned about each other, maybe a favorite thing about each other that you've learned off screen? Um, yeah, I think I learned that Joey is really into sports. Like he, we talked about it a little bit. Uh, I knew that he was a Packers fan, but he is obsessed with golf. I did not know that. So I will be having a lot of days, I feel like, to myself where he can just go and golf. Uh, but yeah, I think that Joey has just showed me that the man he was you know, throughout that whole process is the man that he is, like truly. Yeah, it's it's the little things, like just how we kind of coexisted with each other now and how we would like clean up in certain ways. That small stuff is fun to learn, but yeah. I also agree, like her intentional side has come out in full force since the show, just the little things that she does mm -hmm. to make me feel special, to know that there's a love here. So we've been, we've been in a great spot. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. What are some of those things, those little things? She likes writing little notes. Uh, mm -hmm. So when we had obviously the happy couples, uh, when we had our little moments, there was obviously a goodbye. And she used to always like write a note and then hide it somewhere. <laughs> so it would be like something sweet about how great the weekend was or what she's looking forward to. And then she would just like tuck it somewhere in my suitcase and I'd find them like later on. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Better than the we need to talk note, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing better with the notes. The, note, the notes have gone way up since that one. So we're good. <laughs> this is there's a spike in there. Yeah, we, Maybe I'll throw in another we need to talk here and there. If I ever see one of those <laughs> burning it. I love that. You two have spoken so highly in other interviews that I've heard about couples counseling that you received after the show. I'm so curious what the biggest thing you've taken away from those counseling sessions has been and how you can kind of continue to implement that in your relationship going forward. Yeah, I think that our therapist just really helped us see other like our perspective or, or each other's perspectives mm -hmm. in a lot of things. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice to sometimes just break down. Like there could have been like an argument that we had and we were already over it and like completely good, but it was kind of fun to like go back, break it down and see how we could do it better and how like we can have better open communication and resolve it uh, in a like a healthier way. Yeah. It's yeah. learning different communication styles, um, stepping out of your own perspective, as she said, putting yourself in the other person's shoes, uh, just learning more about each other yeah. and doing it in like a healthy setting, which mm -hmm. was the really special part of it for us. Yeah, it was fun. It, that's it really cool. Fun. I, it's fun. I feel like so many people think about couples counseling and they think about it only for when things are like bad. So it's cool to yeah. do it when things are good. Do you feel like you guys will continue? Yeah, that was actually the advice that we got from other successful couples and people that we know is said like the best time to do therapy is when things are good. So yeah. we were so happy to start this and like build that foundation. And we've loved it so much that we're going to continue to do it in the future. And um, yeah, continue to just learn more about each other and, and do it again, as I said, in like a really healthy setting. That's Definitely. so cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I know I'm just gonna say there were some weeks where we would like go into the counseling and she would ask us like so like is, what do y'all want to talk about and we were just like I don't know we had a great week and so she was really great at like helping us like kind of also talk about things that we didn't think about yeah. you know uh it just really I feel like has helped build our relationship so much and sometimes just celebrating victories yeah that's, exactly that's a big part and of appreciating each other exactly yeah I love that yeah I feel like more and more people need to get into it because it helps make relationship successful and have longevity. So that's really cool. I know you talked about wanting a longer engagement. Have you thought about what kind of wedding you would want if you'd be open to a TV wedding? <laughs> have you thought about it? Yeah, I think that we've we've kind of barely touched on like wedding stuff because I don't think either of us even know where we would want it. Uh, Joey's family mostly is in Philly. I have family all over the place. Um, so I think that first maybe picking a spot where we would want it, but uh, I'm maybe open to a televised wedding i think that we'd have to just talk more about it yeah. it just depends on how we're feeling in that moment we're taking all a step at a time but we now realize that that's something that could be in the cards and yeah. that would never have been a thought process for me that we're going to have a possible tv wedding but uh yeah for us we're just excited about what's happening now and we like that we're going to have some time to think through all that totally yeah, you guys got all the time in the world. Um, Kelsey, there have been many calls for your dad to be the Golden Bachelor or to be on the Golden Bachelorette. If that does end up happening, what advice do you both have for him going into the process that you've now both experienced? Yeah, just to be open to it. My dad's awesome. He's got a great personality. He's very kind. So just be himself and be open to the process. 
Yeah, I would just tell Mark to be himself. Uh, I don't think people understand that his presence in person is, uh, you can't even describe it. He's a very special person that I felt from that day, right when we were in New Orleans. And if he does choose to do it, I know he'll do a great job. Is there anyone from the Golden Bachelor ladies that you think that could be a good fit for him? That's yeah. a question for you. Yeah, there's a lot of awesome women, you know, watching it watching The Golden Bachelor, all of those women on it were amazing and had such amazing stories. I think Joan and Leslie both seem like amazing women. Yeah. I mean, there's, it's so hard to pick though. There's yeah. so many of them. All of them are great. <laughs> yeah. Has, has that been surreal for your dad to be such a fan favorite? Yeah, it's so funny. My brother's jealous, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, it's so funny, but he deserves it all. He deserves all the praise and appreciation. He's awesome. Yeah, he seems really cool. And what about for Jen? Do either of you have any words of wisdom for her, Joey, maybe for being in that position and especially from being on one side and then going to the other? And then Kelsey, I know you and Jen spent a lot of time together just in the house and whatnot. So any words of wisdom for our girl going into her bachelorette journey? Yeah, I, I, we both think Jen's going to do an amazing job. So uh, I think everyone has a different experience and what it's going to be is going to be her own story. Uh, but I just hope she stays open and, and shows herself fully and really tries to enjoy it because it can be hard sometimes. You, you really put a lot of pressure on yourself. So that was the advice I got going in was make sure you have fun with it. And I would say the same thing to her. Uh, but you can speak on it too. Yeah, Jen's got a super bubbly personality, so I'm sure all the guys are going to be obsessed with her. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to watch it back. I think it's going to be a really great season. I'm excited too. Um, and my last question for you two, now that you've had a chance to watch everything back and experience it all, is there anything you would have done differently now getting to witness the show back? Maybe, maybe besides that note. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think that we both feel like all of those moments led to this and we're just very appreciative of it. Yeah. No regrets and no yeah. refunds, right? Yeah, no refunds. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys both so much. We're so excited just to see that all the future holds for you too. I hear you're moving maybe to New York, so it's so exciting yeah. and I can't wait to continue to follow along. I know with Bachelor Nation, we will continue to be checking in with y'all. So it has been so fun, Joey, getting to know you along this journey and I'm so excited for now you and Kelsey to kind of get your life started. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. We appreciate it. Yeah, it was great chatting with you. We'll talk again soon. Bye. Bye.